Greetings and welcome, one and all. It's the second day of BabsCon, and I've been very busy today. I've been part of an Analyst Analyze a Lot panel, and I've been talking with fans and even getting into new collaboration projects. Uh, I even ran into the guy from WatchPony.com. You want to say hi? What's happening? This is um, Welcome to WatchPony.com, and today we're counting down our moments for the top 10 moments with Dr. Bill. Ain't that fun. Yeah. I don't know how many people have actually made a list of the top 10 Emote with Dr. Wolf videos. I think a few of them have done that. I'm pretty sure they have. Yeah, a few of them. But apparently this guy has been getting some requests that I should be doing something on his channel one of these days. I don't know when or how that's going to work, but we're discussing ideas and we'll, we'll see whether or not it's going to actually happen. We'll make it work. <laughs> but still, I am impressed with how quickly you've managed to get your channel going in the past year, and even just listening to you smoothly talk about these many different subjects that you get into. Maybe I should get into dramatic reading. Hey, you should try it. You made the top 10 dramatic readers in the community list, and that that's what actually got me to notice his channel, because apparently I had made the third spot in that list, and hey, wow, that's nice. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for that. that. You have a smooth voice, just as smooth as mine. Huh? Well, you should try some dramatic reading sometimes, see how it turns out. We'll see how. All right. So, I just finished watching a couple of panels and I ran into some characters from the Equestria Daily staff. Uh, you guys want to say hi? What's up, guys? Hello. It's Disto. Game Leon from Equestria Daily. Yeah. These guys were actually part of my BabsCon vlog last year. I was running into them while in the registration line and we didn't even know we were <laughs> but I was Dr. Wolf and this was Sethesto and then when I told the Sethesto that I was Dr. Wolf he says like Dr. Wolf and comes up and hugs me and like yeah. that was a bit of a you surprise. You had stuff in your time. hands earlier I would have hugged you again. Yeah really? <laughs> so earlier today Sethesto had uh, a bit of an overly joyful moment hosting on Equestria Daily. What was that all about? We have the greatest episode of the last five seasons coming up in the sixth season. And it just so happens to have the greatest and most powerful pony in all of Equestria. And I am ecstatic to see her team up with Starlight Glimmer, the room who is the second safe. best pony in the show right now. The room was I'm, not safe this morning. No, no. <laughs> it was he dangerous. Was jumping around. Everywhere. It was, uh, he was ecstatic. So. It, was, it was a crazy morning, and I was very happy about that. Well, I'm looking forward to that episode, too. It'll be very interesting to see Trixie making a return she hasn't been in the actual show since season three, come to think of it, hasn't she? No, yeah. she's, she's been, well, she was Just in the, the background. She was in the background for like two seconds last yeah. season during the Chrysalis portion. Um, but no, she's been completely forgotten, which yeah. is a sad situation for such a, a useful pony. It's so a we'll have to, pony. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Very excited. Greetings and good evening, one and all. I am, of course, Dr. Wolf in plushy form. Isn't that adorable? Oh, these came in just a couple of days ago, and we were so excited we had to show them off. And this is my lovely lady, Mrs. Wolf. Of course, Mrs. Wolf is still very camera shy and doesn't want her face or her voice on any of these videos, so I actually helped ask Sweetie Bloom if she might do the voice for Mrs. Wolf. Hello. Yes. <laughs> I honestly think that uh, Mrs. Wolf is a lot more adorable than Dr. Wolf. I mean, look at that hat. Look at that hair. <laughs> look at that little yellow shirt. Isn't that adorable? I love that. That's so adorable. <laughs> but one, the wonderful Kia Shone on DeviantArt made these for us, and we just had to bring them to BabsCon and show them off, and people have been saying how adorable they are all day. And yes, I love seeing these, and I love that fans have enjoyed our characters so much. So again, thank you to Kia Shone. And do you have any more wor words, Mrs. Wolf, here? Uh, I just think that these plushies are adorable, and you should all go commission, because... She does really great work. Yes. Super high quality and adorable. Both yes, plushies. Absolutely. Both plushies are adorable. Isn't this so adorable? <laughs> Isn't this so adorable? I love it. Hello again, everyone. It's been a long day at BabsCon. Uh, there were a lot of things going on. But before I closed out for the evening, there was one thing I wanted to talk about that has really got my mind pondering. Uh, I was fortunate enough to meet up with Lauren Faust, of all people, while attending the convention. She was actually over at uh, the Crusaders Clubhouse, which is for a lot of the younger con-goers to 
uh, draw pictures and play with pony toys and meet with the show staff. And I thought it was really good that she was visiting with a lot of the kids and answering their questions and posing for pictures. Now, uh, Lauren couldn't be on camera even for just a few seconds because uh, I would assume that she has some contracts that she's trying not to make anyone upset over. She did pose for a picture, and I'm glad that she did. But the thing that really got to me is that after the picture, she says to me, thank you for commenting on the show. And as I'm walking off, I didn't think much of it at the moment, but after a minute, I stopped and realized, wait a second, does Lauren Faust actually know who I am or has watched any of my videos or really any of the analysis videos in the community? And that was a very sobering thought. I had assumed when I walked up to her she would have no idea who I was, that I was just another con-goer in cosplay carrying around a plushie. She sees hundreds, if not thousands, of those wherever she goes. But the idea that maybe, just maybe, she is aware of people in the reviewing and analysis community, the creator of MLP may have actually watched some of the people who were reviewing and analyzing her work? It really changes your perspective. It makes you wonder about how much not just the creator, but even some of the show staff, maybe they're never allowed to talk about it, maybe they're never allowed to even mention it directly, but the idea that they are aware and even appreciate what we do it's just a very interesting idea that I wanted to mention here and wanted to hear each of your thoughts. I don't know. Do you think that people like Lauren Faust might actually be not only aware of the YouTube reviewing and analysis community, but may have even watched a few of our videos? Tell me what your thoughts might be in the comments below, and as per usual, I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.